I have a roll of toilet paper and a dream. <laughs> Today we are going to be doing uh, kind of like a textured, uh, I guess, toilet paper art because I'm using this even though in most of the things I've seen on this, which tend to look like this, um, use tissue paper. I'm pretty sure they're similar enough for this to work because I don't have tissue paper but I have this. <laughs> so hopefully it'll work equally as well. Um, I actually, I'm pretty sure you've never seen this before because if you have, that it's very impressive because I did not know about this until last week. <laughs> And when I saw it, I thought it looked really, really interesting. Um, so I figured we would give it a try. And that's what we're going to be doing today. This is the first time that I am going to be trying this. So I'm a little bit nervous about the technical stuff. Even though it looks simple enough. But I've obviously never tried it before. I have no idea how much of certain things and stuff like that, you know. So basically, we have to start with tearing this up and putting it into water to kind of like soak up the water, taking it out of the water and then putting it into a cup with glue and paint. Sounds simple, right? Hopefully it goes that way. And then you basically take it out with tweezers and like put it on a piece of cardboard with a design on it and it makes like a cool textured art. I think it'll be really cool. I think it will turn out really nice. So let's get started. This is the basic design that I've gone with, literally just like flowers and it's going to be one color in the middle, another color on the outside and then the whole like background area is going to be as well. So we're just going to be using like three colors. I did want to do each flower different colors, but I only have two cups of this and one cup of this. <laughs> and I don't really want to go out and get more cups. So we're just going to be doing the three colors and hopefully it'll still look nice enough. Um, we've got to start with getting a bunch of this off and then putting it in the water and then taking it out of the water. I'm really hoping it's not too thin that it doesn't work because tissue paper I feel like is probably a bit thicker than toilet paper but same kind of theory right? Oh my god do you think that's enough? <laughs> let's just let's just tear let's just tear this off oh my god <laughs> big old mess Oh god, okay, that is way too much to go in that one cup. Let's, let's just do bit by bit. <laughs> now it's a cup of mush. <laughs> we take that out and put it into one of these cups. And squeeze. Chuck it. Okay, and now we just repeat that another time. Okay, we have two cups now. This is the part where we add in glue and paint. So let's do this one first. I have this giant, <laughs> giant, um, like canister, I guess, of glue. I'm just gonna chuck like a decent amount in. And that should be good. Then we're supposed to like mix it up, so let's like see how that goes. I'm gonna do the, the middle of the flowers like yellow, so I'm gonna add a little bit of yellow in there. And then the outside of the flowers may be blue. Oh my god. Ah, oh, that's so weird. This is like such a weird texture. Oh my god. Oh my god. What the hell is this? Now we bring back our cardboard. I would suggest in the ones that I saw it was thicker than this. This is like super super thin. <laughs> but it's the cardboard I had lying around so I figured I'd use it. Might as well, right? Let's start with the yellow which is going to be the inside bits of the flowers. Yeah, it's actually not too bad. That's actually really easy.
Okay, those are all the yellows done. I made way too much yellow. I thought it would take way more than that, but it's actually like a really small amount. They look so funny right now, just a bunch of little yellow dots. Okay, so I guess we're just gonna go onto the paddles and then do the background after that. Okay, that is all done. Um, finished with <laughs> the flowers. Um, what you just saw, that little time lapse, that was over an hour. <laughs> it actually takes so much longer than I thought it would because the little yellow things, obviously they're a lot smaller, so they're gonna take less time, but I managed to get them done really, really quickly. And then the blue ones, I feel like because it was like an actual shape or something, or there was just more of it, it took so long. Um, I didn't realize it would take that long. But now we are going to be doing the background. Since I had so much of the yellow left, I decided I'd probably just use some of that still. So I mixed in like a bunch of white and like a tiny little drop of red. And I got like this like kind of salmon color, I guess you could call it. It's kind of like a... Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go with salmon because <laughs> that is such an interesting color. So I'm just gonna use that as the background. Um, hopefully we'll kind of go with it. I did want to do pink, but I had so much of that yellow left. I wanted to use it. I didn't want to just throw it away, even though it is just toilet paper, I guess. <laughs> so I could have, but it was right there. I, I didn't want to throw it away. What can I say? Um, yeah, so I guess we're gonna be doing the background now. It is actually a lot harder than I thought it initially was. When I was doing the yellow, it was a lot easier. It's it's a really weird texture. <laughs> you can probably assume that, seeing as, you know, it's mushed up toilet paper and glue and paint, so it's gonna be a weird texture, but it, it is really like hard to get it all down and then you have to like smush it down to make the glue like, stick and then kind of shape it after that. It's interesting. It's really interesting. I don't really know how exactly to describe how it feels to like be doing this. Um, but it's, it's interesting. So let's get started on the background.
and I guess we're done now. <laughs> we have finished the background and filled in the entire space basically. Um, unfortunately, I thought the color was a little bit more salmon than yellow, but the yellow has definitely come through. Um, so it's kind of like a lighter shade of the middle <laughs> of the flowers, but I think it still looks pretty cute. It's really weird to look at. It's <laughs> I think it looks really, really cool. It is exactly what I was like hoping for. It was a lot harder than I thought it was and it took a lot more time, but it is actually really fun and it comes out with such a cool effect. It's just, it looks really cool. It's like so textured, so like 3D and I, I really like it. Um, yeah, that, that is the finished piece. Uh, it was actually surprisingly fun, but did take a really, really long time to do. Uh, let me know what you think, if you like the kind of textured vibe, if you think it just looks like really ugly, or if you're like completely in love with it. <laughs> let me know in the comments down below, and I guess I will see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye!